Hey guys, it's been a while since I've worked on the Phantom FX 61. Um, been very busy, so haven't had a lot of opportunities over the last couple of months. So, anyone who's been waiting for this, it's sorry about that. Uh, but I'm, it's, a, it's almost ready to maiden, and, and I'll just run over what I've done with it so far. So, this thing has, um, I've decided now I'm going to uh, put a a head tracking unit on it. I'm going to run two cameras, the run cam split which is going to re record the footage and the run cam eagle 2 which will be my FPV camera. Right so the next step is to create a buzzer. I've got an old buzzer I've had lying around so I'm going to cut the end off off that and use the cable that came with the flight controller to create that. I've also got to connect uh, some XT60 plugs onto the flight controller as well. controller here it's a furious FPV um, flight controller it's, the reason I went with this one was because it's got all the plug-and-play features it's a very easy one to set up and being my first craft that I've put together I figured it's, it's probably not a bad one to start with so I've mounted it as you can see I mounted it in the center I dug out some of the foam and have just just glued it down inside there so that's very solid in there not going to move anywhere I've already bought a GPS for it I bought the Furious FPV GPS which I've mounted so I've run that up run the GPS up and it's mounted just on the on the uh, so on the on the side of the of the cockpit I found that was the best spot for me to do because I planned to pull the wings off it and I didn't want it any further out. So the flight controller it comes with a bag of wiring uh, specific for plugging directly into the controller and into other Furious FPV modules that you may want to buy. The uh, flight controller itself has ports here for your camera, a uh, port for your video transmitter, uh, you have access to a a Bluetooth module as well to
to set up the flight controller via your, uh, your phone or your iPad which I might I'm considering getting that as well uh, your receiver plugs into here the receiver I'm going to use to start with is the, is the L9R I'm probably going to change that to crossfire eventually but I'm going to start with this anyway this is a very good receiver still and has some good range to it so we'll see how it goes so the flight controller also has uh, it also has direct plugins for crossfire as well uh, it's all set up for that I'm going to also get an airspeed module for it which I'll connect to the front of it to measure the airspeed and that also will plug in here. I'll probably just get the unit that comes with this, so it's just going to be a plug and play. Let's get the Furious FPV airspeed module. And I've also got a buzzer, Lost Craft buzzer, which also will plug into here. This little port here is where you plug your micro USB in uh, to your computer and connect up to iNav to tune it, and we'll do that in a minute. I'll run that through. But other than that, that's pretty much it. Okay, so the first thing we have to do, we go into iNav here, and um, we want to we want to flash new the latest firmware to the to the flight controller. So we basically hit the firmware flasher tab, and that brings up this screen here. We go and select from the drop down menu um, for us, or for my my craft, it's um, uh, Furious FPV F35 Lightning board and the latest one I'm, I'm putting on is 2.1.0 so the flight controller can be set up in uh, four different ways and if uh, the four different diagrams I've got here show you which uh, your degree you're going to need I've got mine set up as diagram one there just a standard setup everything's set to zero uh, I'll go into the mixer tab here and set your wing up there's a heap of pre uh, pre settings you can do, which will automatically set up a lot of the parameters uh, for the specific size wing you've got. I've actually done mine, set mine up to an S800, even though it's bigger than that. But anyway, I'll be, be, be tuning. This is going to be a basic setup that I'm doing anyway. So it's hooked up with uh, the left wing. Looking at the wing from the top ground down in the diagram, uh, the left wing is channel 3, the, the right wing is channel 4 and the ESC is connected to channel 1 on mine but you can also use channel 2. Now I've also opened up the failsafe in the configurator um, just to make sure that return to home is activated if it loses signal with the transmitter um, the, f the first thing it's going to do is, is return back to home. So next is the receiver, the L9R, uh, that's running on UART3, so you uh, just go into your ports tab, across to UART3 and RX and toggle on serial RX. The wiring I've done, it's all set up for SBUS, so exactly co I've copied it exactly as it shows in this diagram here. And also you will need to go into the configurations tab too for the motor and ESC I believe and you've got to turn the turn the toggle switch on for that to activate the motor or else you'll have nothing there. Right, so we're going to go into the GPS now. My GPS is just plug and play exactly in the diagram here. There's nothing I've done with the cable that goes in there. So that's set up on UART2. Uh, go to your sensors tab and turn on GPS 57600. After that you need to go into the configurator uh, and um, you got to go down to the drop go, go down to where it says GPS and toggle along the switch for GPS for navigation and telemetry. Everything else here, your protocol U blocks, ground assistance tips disabled, Magnometer, all that I haven't altered. That's exactly how I've done that as well. Uh, for the TBS Unify Pro, it's wired up exactly how I've shown here. Uh, the only difference is I've got the um, I've got that five volt output, which will be taken towards the uh, run cam split, the second camera, and the double ground. One of those grounds will also run to that to power that. So. 
that runs on UART 4 so you've got to go across to your peripherals and for the TBS Unify Pro you've got to select TBS Smart Audio um, 115,200 and that'll get that running now for the um, FPV camera I'm using the Runcam Eagle 2 uh, that's had to be wired up uh, the cable that I've used I've had to modify that so but it's set up exactly the same as the, as the diagram here I've got one white cable going to the on-screen display and that's uh, the white white cable running from the the standard plug and the other three red black and yellow follow in line with the with the standard cable so that's basically the the setup done it's a basic setup there's a few other little things you need to do in the configurator basically when you select uh, the type of craft it preloads the settings in so you shouldn't have to change too much I've just um, added in what we've just shown there and set it up exactly the, the way it's shown in the manual so hopefully it all runs all good anything else I'll add to it in the next video so I hope you enjoyed that guys um, we'll catch up with you soon and we'll do a bit with the cameras maybe on the next video see you then